Okay, so there's this trending ramen hack that's going around in Japan right now. Mix it up really well. Cook your noodles like you normally would. Add in the boiling water and the noodles. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Mmm. Hi everyone, welcome back to 1 by 5 Woods. In this episode, I will be not only reviewing but also trying some online food hacks uh, that you can do at home. In this phase of heightened alert, if you want to eat, you can go out. You can try these home hacks to take your meals at home to the next level. And the first recipe that we're trying is this online ramen hack. Okay, so there's this trending ramen hack that's going around in Japan right now. By adding a couple ingredients, you can make it taste luxurious. All you need are four ingredients. QP mayo, your ramen of choice, an egg, and you need some garlic. And you don't really need to cook. All you need to do is chop the garlic. That's all. So as the ramen is cooking, we can prepare our ingredients and the only thing you need to prepare is the garlic. You don't even need to chop, you can just use the... Hey, dirty here. So first, you grate the garlic. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that is about... Uh, half a clove of garlic. Let's just put the other one in. Next, you put in the cupy mayo. Squirt, just aga aga. La. Last step. Crack the egg. I'll give you a tip la, on how to crack an egg with one hand. So use your hands to, to do this. Do this. I'll show you. Uh. And then you do this. Wow. Okay, first you point the soup. Wow, it's Oh, you can see the mayo and the egg being cooked by the warmth and you add the noodles. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, it's inside. Ah. <gasps> some noodle. And some soup. Focus. One by five words. Instant carbonara with shin ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Thicker. Spicier. Way more filling. The, the broth is definitely a lot thicker than just the shin ramen alone uh, because of the mayo and the egg is more thick. There's a bit more of a kick with the, the garlic. This elevates it from home ramen to restaurant ramen. Let me ask my sister. She likes carbonara and shin. Nice. Salty. Is it too much garlic? Yeah. So I guess uh, you can afford to add a lot less garlic. Okay, so I've tried out this uh, instant carbonara recipe with uh, three other flavours. The Nissin Sesame Oil Maggi Tom Yum. I chose Maggi because uh, the Thai one was out of stock. And Indomie. As you can see, there's a lot less water in the Indomie one. One by five words, uh, Nissin Sesame Oil. Not as thick, but good. Didn't make it that much thicker as compared to the, the Shin Ramen one. The key is very put less garlic. Tom Yum noodle with instant carbonara. Oh, like creamy tom yum. Aroi means delicious. Aroi. This is nice. This this is, uh, it really tastes like the uh, creamy tom yum, you know? Or is it milky tom yum? So I think it makes it a little bit less spicy. So I think if you like your tom yum spicy, you can uh, add more garlic or more tom yum paste. So this is not 100% dry indomie, it is wet indomie. Five words. Uh, don't try indomie with this. It, it, it almost um, masks the, 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 the flavour of the indomie because indomie is a bit spicy. I think the recipe is not bad considering how easy it is to make. All you have to do is grate the garlic, chop if you want to be hardworking. After trying it out with different flavours, I think it works out with most soupy ramen flavours. It adds a lot more body to the flavour, a lot more depth. So yeah, I would highly recommend you to try it because it's cheap easy to prepare. So let me know down in the comments which other food hacks that you've seen online you would like me to try. And um, let me know if you've tried this and what you think. That's it. See you in the next episode of Cook... 1x5 uh, words.